the games are so hard and becoming so taxing that you know for two or three days after a game you're still really sore and um, it's about trying to flush out that as quickly as you can so I quite enjoy getting out on the tracks you know within a day or two of a game just to sort of run out and run out your sore spots also you find a few sore spots as well so try and get get rid of those as quick as you can and um, you know, the quicker you get rid of those the harder you can train them the better prepared you'll be. Early in the week you just get a feel of the footies again and get your touch back and then uh, main session, you sort of want to have that one session of game intensity and that's what I try and focus on and make sure everything that I do, skills wise, is, is game pace. Definitely stay after training and work on, you know, whether it be marking, goal kicking, uh, just try and improve and add things to my game. And, uh, but I've also learnt that sometimes, you know, training longer is not always the best option, so sort of balance that out with, you know, some core work and, and you know, massage physio to, to get the balance right. Uh, we've got a you know a really good program from David Butterfield, our fitness guy, and um, you know I suppose for me personally it's it's about that leg strength and speed and um, making sure I'm strong through my core. And what I've targeted over the years is to just build up build up my legs and the, the ability to get strong through your legs. Um, and playing inside midfield, you sort of you've got to be able to hold your ground, and then not only that, you've got to be able to get out and run in space. So being strong in your legs comes from you know all the miles you put into them in pre-season, and then I suppose conditioning it with with leg weights as well. And, you know, once a week I just try and get an extra core session in and you know, fitness stuff. Talk about that being sort of the powerhouse of, of your body and you want to make sure it's strong and you know, it protects your lower back and things like that as well, which I've had a bit of trouble with early in my career, so I'll just maintain that core work to, to more look after my back as well. Paul LeCure is a guy that after my first year I just sort of asked him if he wouldn't mind if I just jumped on the back of him in pre-season and just tried to do whatever he was doing. Uh, you know, I think Licker enjoyed sort of the challenge of a young guy wanting to learn off him, so you know, it's something that you know, I've tried to, to take into my football is the way that he prepared and the way he trained. Oh, footy, you know, it's my number one priority. It's, it's my job and um, something that you know, I feel very, very lucky to, to be doing. And, um, you know, in terms of sacrifices for the year, I don't think it's really a sacrifice to to give up anything to, to achieve the ultimate success as a team. So I don't, you know, sort of look at anything as a sacrifice as long as it's going to help us win. I'm prepared to do it. <laughs>